Okay, hey there. So today, we're gonna to be making it so that when you go to a level, I set the score goal for this level pretty low. Um, once you meet that score goal, so I'm gonna fast forward here while I do that. So once you meet that score goal, and you go back, it will know that you should have a star for that level, so that you know which levels you've maxed out your score on and which ones you still have some work to do, even if you've already cleared it. So. Let's jump right in. Okay, hey there everybody, welcome back. So last time we made it so that we can switch between different scenes here. Um, so if I hit play, we can go into scene one. And I set the score goal on scene one super, super low. I think I set it at like 30 points. So yeah, I did. So as soon as we get 30 points here, um, what we want is when we go back to the main scene, and this will just take me a second, when we go back to the main scene here, since we reach this score goal, we want to make sure that the star knows to have this star, or that the button knows to have this star lit up underneath it. And we've already created most of the code for this, so this video is going to be pretty quick, which is, is nice. We're later in the project and things are getting way more complicated, so it's nice to have a kind of a short one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go open up my, uh, I think it's my level backdrop scene. And this is made up of several level buttons. And I'm just going to pick one of the level buttons and open up the script for it. And each of the level buttons has this same script. So we already have it in our setup function here that we need to know if the score goal is met, then we're going to set it to the goal met texture. And the goal met texture is the star and if the score goal isn't met, we're going to set it to the not met, text, not met texture, which is this one. So uh, now all we need to do is just make sure it knows whether or not that score goal is met. Now if you remember from last time, let's go to our game window here, we can look at our top UI, and in our top UI, when we're updating our score, uh, we're checking to see if current score is greater than or equal to score bar dot max value, and if it is, then we're going to say that the number of stars unlocked is one. So uh, what we need to do in our um, button here, right there, is we need to, when we're doing ready, we need to check to make sure that the, um, that the button is reading from, um, pardon me, the button is reading from the dictionary to see how many stars should be unlocked. So we're gonna say if game data manager dot level info. Uh, we want to take the level from this. And what we want to check now is stars unlocked. Okay, there we go. Uh, if game data manager dot level info level stars unlocked is equal to one, meaning if we have the star unlocked, then we're going to say score goal met is true. And otherwise, score goal met is gonna be false. So I'm just gonna add that here. Else, score goal met is false. And I think I have this set so that it defaults to false anyway. I don't, so it's good to set it to false. Now, uh, in here, if score goal met, then we're gonna change the texture to goal met. So. Let's go to our game menu, just to start things up from the very, very beginning here. And let's test this out. So we're gonna play, we're gonna go to level one. I'm going to meet that score goal. So my bar is completely filled up. And I'm just gonna keep going here until I meet my, my actual peace goal. I might fast forward this part here. Okay, so here we are. Uh, and now when I go back, it knows that I reached my score goal for a level one. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of all that we need to do to make those stars work. I don't know why I didn't cover this in the last video. I think it's because the last video is so choppy and weird anyway. Um, all right, so after this, I'm gonna jump back to the, 
the boosters. So the next booster we need to do is the destroy a piece booster. And then we need to talk about overall how to make it so that you're choosing boosters at the beginning of each level. And we'll be revisiting this scene then in order to make it so that we can choose what boosters we want active and also uh, have it display the exact number of our high score for that level. Um, so yeah, so that's what's coming next. Um, another booster video and then setting up that interface. And then once we get that done, that's gonna be pretty much it for a while aside from going over how to export this project to Android and iOS. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Um, Juan Linietsky, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. The guy who's mainly behind Godot right now, he's um, looking at changing the way that they do their uh, Google AdSense integration, so I'm not going to be covering ads until after he kind of redoes that, because at the moment, um, covering ads and doing in-app purchases is a little bit more complicated, but um, once he gets what he's planning to do put in place, then it'll be much easier. So, uh, Also, on my Twitter, I'll leave a link directly to my Twitter in the description, I have a, a poll up for what you guys want to see as your next Godot tutorial. So when this tutorial is over, we're going to go seamlessly into another Godot tutorial. And starting next week, we're going to be doing those Godot tutorials on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, and it'll be that for probably the rest of the summer until I go back to school, and then I'll have to reevaluate how often I upload videos. But So yeah, uh, head over to my Twitter, check out that poll. Um, put your, your votes in at the moment. At the time of recording, uh, turn-based RPG is winning. Um, but some people really want the Diablo to win. Some people really want the Zelda-like to win. So go check it out and see which one you like. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. You can follow me, or you can join my Discord. Uh, really great people in that Discord community, and I'm there too. So if you want to, you can stop by and say hey. Otherwise, uh, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day. And yeah.